The target will be here in a couple of days. Get your holiday time in now. What do you do? Security. I deal mainly with business. So why are you here? Just making sure everything's in order? It is. This ship, the American Star. It's on the other side of the island. Rule number one. The less you know about the target, the better. Rule number one! Ah! Let's go! I don't need no one! I'll finish this job. Ian McShane is taking a break from playing Winston from running the Continental Assassin's Retreat and now decides to pursue on his own deadly mission, stepping into the spotlight as a gun-wielding killer on his final assignment in the new action flick American Star. The contract to kill takes place on the beautiful paradise of future Ventura, but McShane's arrival is strictly business. It's just business as he pursues his target to be entangled different kind of entanglement and draw to a shipwrecked vessel called the american star but before we begin be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to be notified for future movie content as winston said before if you want peace prepare for war what's that see this back in parabellum and mcshane is locked and loaded this is everything you need to know about American Star. Like the John Wick franchise, there are rules about the Assassin's Code. There will be no business conducted on the continental grounds. And rule number one, the less you know about the target, the better. Rule number one. The less you know about the target, the better. Ian McShane, now a cold-blooded killer, arrives on the island to eliminate a man he has never met. But when the target is delayed, instead of following protocol, he decides to explore the island, its inhabitants, and a ghostly shipwreck named the American Star. Like Robert McCall from The Equalizer, enjoying the life of solace and the people that foster the island until the peace is threatened. And the target, who is on his hit list? Someone he's become close to. Someone he's now involved with. An entanglement. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. With his life now on the line, the moral conflict between his code of conduct as a hitman and his own emotions with the people of the island, there are three types of people on the island. It's residents, tourists, and... And those who are running from something. I don't live here. And what is he running from? Just like John Wick, is McShane seeking a life outside the high table to escape his clutches of the assassin's world? A way out. And what secret does the American star hold? The haunted shipwreck on the other side of the island, maybe his past treasures as Blackbeard from Pirates of the Caribbean. Mutineers. Now the American star known as SS America was a luxury transatlantic built in 1940, the biggest passenger ship in Europe, at the time only 28 meters less than the Titanic, weighing in at 26,000 tons, 10 passenger decks, a top speed of 24 knots, and could carry of 1,200 passengers across three classes of cabin. It was even used during the Second World War, being weaponized and prepared to transport soldiers. The ship has a long history and was abandoned for 14 years until disaster struck. Storms and heavy seas during its transit resulted in the ship drifting on its own. It was later found washed up on the island of Future Ventura. Within 48 hours, the pounding waves had already snapped the ship in two, now just a pile of twisted steel lost in the ocean. But what mysteries does it hold in this world? and to the souls of the locals. Set to release on January 26, the film pairs McShane with co-stars Nora Arnazeter and Adam Nagaitis. Behind the camera, a reunion with the Spanish filmmaker Gonzalo Lopez from Hollow Point. <laughs> Known for his thriller horrors, Apollo 18 and Open Grave. I woke up in the pit. Anything At an age of 81, McShane looks immaculate, and he has definitely found his calling in the dark action world of film and TV. 
From his role in the Deadwood and Pirates of the Caribbean, he is even revealed to be Odin in American Gods, and of course the fan favorite Winston in the John Wick franchise. You arrogant asshole. He didn't shoot. Consequences. McShane looking to reprise his role in the spin-off Ballerina and returning as Tai Lung in Kung Fu Panda. You? <laughs> Him? He's a panda. You're a panda. What are you gonna do, big guy? Sit on me? <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> For nearly a decade, Ian McShane has been surrounded by killers in the John Wick universe, but he can't be expected to look after the assassins all the time. He's ready to pick up a body, and he has a job to finish. I'll finish this job. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to check out my other videos on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe.